Hello, this is the heat pipe experiment cleanup video. So we're going to start by turning off the power supply and the computer and the monitor. And now that all the electronics are turned off and there is no heat going into the heat pipe, we're going to turn off the faucet to turn off the condenser section. And now we're going to drain the condenser section. We're going to start this by unhooking the hose from the faucet and then lifting one of the hoses to drain as much water into the sink as we can. And now that I'm done draining as much as I can through lifting the hose, I'm going to make a seal with my hand and blow into the hose to force the rest of the water out of the condenser section. And now that the condenser section is cleared out, we're going to undo the valve section in order to drain the working fluid from the heat pipe. We're going to start this off by undoing the vacuum pump hose. And then we're going to get something to drain the working fluid into and put it under the connection between the heat pipe and the valve section. We're also going to move the back thermocouple out of the way to make it easier to undo the nut between the heat pipe and the valve section. And depending on how much working fluid's in the heat pipe, some of the working fluid may drain uh, after disconnecting the valve and the heat pipe, or it may stick inside the heat pipe. Now we're going to unhook the valve section from the arm. It is by holding the valve section and the blocks on the arm in order to make it so both of them do not fall and then undo the nuts to undo the bolts. And now we're going to drop the blocks like so and make sure there's no working fluid in the valve section and then put it away. And now we're going to drain the heat pipe of the working fluid. We're going to do this by sliding the heat pipe out of the heater section and then draining the working fluid into the measuring cup. Now we're going to drain the heat pipe by putting it into the measuring cup and putting it vertically and then moving it around a little bit to hopefully get the working fluid to come out. And then once that's done, we're going to put the heat pipe back into the heater section. And we need to make sure that the Thermal couples are out of the way and we slide it back in. And then after the heat pipes back in the heater section, we're going to reattach the valve section to the heat pipe. And for this one, we're going to make sure that the connection is tight. So we're going to push the valve section hard onto the heat pipe and then screw on the nut slightly to get it to stay and 
and then we're going to add the blocks back on and adding these blocks will help stabilize the uh, section a little bit now if you want you can tighten the connection between the heat pipe and the valve section and then vacuum it out to make sure that it holds a decent vacuum before the next experiment. And now that I double check and make sure there's no working fluid in the valve section. And we're also going to check and make sure everything is cleaned up and everything's shut off. And that concludes the cleanup video.